Ladies and gentlemen, how the devil are we all doing? It's the new to Gryffindor, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you where all the field guide pages are located inside of Hogsmeade. Now, in this area, there's 55 of the buggers. Some of them you'll be able to get at straight away, while some of the others, you know, you have to play the game a little before you can actually get at them. Anyhow, let's stop knobbing around and sliver into video. The first page you're going to come across is on the bridge leading into Hogsmeade itself. All you got to do is cast your Revelio spell and it'll become visible to you. Simple as that. From here, you can walk across the bridge, look to your left and you'll see a page flying around in air. Use Accio on it and it's another one in your collection. If you carry on walking up the street, you'll come to a shop called Tomes and Scrolls. Go inside of it, cast your Revelio spell again and you'll find another page. It'll be directly on your left as you walk in. Once you've grabbed that bugger, leave the store, look directly across the road and you'll see a cauldron shop. Shop. Down the alleyway at the side of it, you'll see another one of them flappy boys. Just, you know, use Accio on it. It'll come to you. Don't worry. Now back to the aforementioned cauldron shop. Stand outside of it. Whip your wand out. Just be careful you don't burn your tip. Work your little Revelio spell and yep, you guessed it, another page will become visible. Simply, simply lovely. Now this next page is only going to be available to you if you've done the flying lesson at Hogwarts. And yeah, I know the suit of armor is very dashing, but please, d you know, don't let it distract you. Now the shop you're looking for is Spimp Witches. It's quite hard to miss considering it's, you know, bright bloody red. But I get it, not everybody's gifted with the power of sight. Just ask my mate Ominous. Anyhow, I digress. Just make your way inside and your book page will be on left hand wall. Our next target is Ollivander's. Not quite sure what it's doing in Hogsmeade, but, you know, we'll just gloss over that. It's located directly across the street from Spimp Witches. And with a little bit of magic, your page should become visible on the left hand side of the door. Absolutely fantastic news. Our next stop is the Free Broomsticks, and it's located right at the top of the street that you've just been walking up for the past five minutes. So yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to find, but you do have a map if you're struggling. The Free Broomsticks has two pages in it. One of them you can just walk in and get. It's above the top of the fireplace thing. The other, however, is upstairs in a lot room. I know, it's a bar lake, innit? Don't worry, though. If you just play the game, you eventually learn the Hello, Amora spell off the caretaker. Not entirely sure why the caretaker's teaching magic, but... Yeah, we'll just ignore that. Now, I think it's a good time that we stop, take a break, and get our bearings. This is where we're currently located, and we've walked up that street here from the bridge. I think our best course of action next, you know, going forward, is to take a trip to Zonkos. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this place is bloody fantastic. Why, you may be asking? Well, I'll tell you. There's three pages here. You've got one on the outside just before you walk in. you got some frog spawn soap over on this wall. Mm-hmm, simply, simply lovely. And if you take a little gander up the stairway, you'll find yourself a dung bomb page. Spot. On. Oh, that's one thing I forgot actually. If you face left while you're standing at the doors of Zonko's itself, you know where you found your first page. You'll see another flappy boy in between the gaps of the two houses. Make sure you snag that one as well. Right then, now we've robbed Zonko's of all its goodies, let's go back outside and find these giant butterbeer kegs. Because you guessed it, guys, if we cast a Revelio spell, we're gonna get ourselves another page. And after all, that's the aim of the game in this video. And of course, to see how many times people tried to cancel me for covering it. Keep following the road until we come to this wow on our left here. Again, you're going to find yourself a page there, and there's also one of those flappy flying pages as well, so make sure you grab that too. Now then, once you've drained the well, carry on making your way up the street, and you've got to come to the town centre of Hogsmeade. And the first place we're going to go is to this blue building here, Scriven Shafts. And inside of it, we're going to find a shed load of pus, cats that you can stroke, and of course, another page to add to our collection. Beautiful. Once we've stopped playing around in the shaft, we're going to leave, go across the village square, or circle whatever it is and we're going to pay a visit to gladrag's wizard wear it's the big purple building di directly across from you anywho's outside the door you're going to find yourself a page and inside of it you're going to find two pages yes two you heard correctly one of them's behind this mannequin here sorry not mannequin they akin and if you go down the little stairs you'll find another directly on top of this sneaker scope we're going to head over to the center of whatever this village square shape thing is and of this statue here we're going to find a page on hengist of Woodcroft. Yep, nailed that pronunciation. And while you're here, guys, make sure you snag that flappy boy over there as well that's doing laps at building. Truth be told, you've got a couple of shops you could go into here, but I'm going to start with a post office if they're not all on strike. And why is that, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. It's the closest buddy one, and I'm lazy. One old Reasley does not like to walk much. Once you get inside the post office, what do you think you're going to find? Yep, that's right, you at the back. Another page for our book. Brilliant. Once we've left the post office, we can go over to either Honey Dukes or the T shop. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. I'm British after all. And what else do you think I've got to get? Yep, 
that's correct, we're going to get ourselves another page. Cast the Revelio spell on the back wall, you'll find it, don't worry. Onwards to Diabetes Central, otherwise known as Honey Dukes. And yes, outside guys, you're going to find yourselves yet another page. It's becoming quite predictable now, isn't it? Once you've got that one, take a step inside. Honey Dukes has two of the buggers. You're going to find one at the Fizzing Whizbiz and another one down at the Exploding Bonbons. You can't miss them. And with that, we've pretty much cleared out this side of Hogsmeade. There is some others we've got to get, but they require a little bit more effort. We'll, we'll get on to that later. But for now, my Schöner Freundens, we're going to make our way over to Brood and Peck. Again, this is another one you can't access unless you've progressed in the game. Unfortunately, it only becomes available once you start kidnapping animals. But you know, I'll show you where it is and then we can get some others on our way across there. How does that sound? Now then, as you approach the lake, you'll notice there's a flying page above it. Just, you know, accio it to you. And once you've reached Brood and Peck itself, take a walk down the side of it and you'll see another page. Again, rinse and repeat. Now the shop is locked on me one old Reasley character, but if I switch over to Harry Shotter, you can see that yes, indeed, there is a guide page located inside the shop. Fantastic news. The next page we're after is located up at Dogweed and Death Cap. What an enticing name that is. To get here, leave Brood and Peck and go across the bridge that's in front of you. There will also be one of the flying pages knocking around, so yep, yeah, make sure you snag that one. As you start approaching the Dogweed building, you're going to see yet another flying page blasting around the roof of that, so yep, yeah, make sure you wacky your it. Take a stroll into the shop, wave your wand around, and you'll see another beautiful picture page thing to add to your collection. Bloody hell, we're really motoring on now, aren't we? We're going to walk towards the water wheel and you'll see yet another flying page just, you know, larking about in the air. I don't need to say it, do I? Y you know what to do. Our next stop is the old fool. I'm not sure what this is. Is it supposed to be the Shrieking Shack? I, I have no idea. It's just an abandoned shop in this game. Either way, we're going to have to go to it because it's got yet another flying page and outside the door, it's got one of the nice, you know, picture looking ones as well. Aye, simply, simply lovely. Once you got these two, our hunt continues onto the magic neat. And you know, while you're meandering on over there, just keep your eye on the river because you're going to see another flying page. At the neap itself, you're going to see another page tear ass in its way around the top of it, so pull that one in. And when you find Timothy's car, you're going to find another page to add to collection. Fantastic. Now, for some strange reason, it wouldn't let me put my marker down on this bugger, but it's just up in the hills there. I'll draw a crude X with whatever editing software I'm using today. This one is another flappy boy. Make sure you get it. And once you have got it, it's back across the river to J. Pippin potion shop and when you're crossing the bridge keep your eye out for yet another flying page now inside the potion shop the page is going to be right at the back next to this fire brewing station thing technical next up we have a legend in the harry potter world the hog's head and if you cast a little bit of magic once you step inside you're gonna find one of our friends in there all you gotta do from here now is walk out the back door head on over to the docks cast revelio and yes you will find another page and sod it while you're in this area head out around the other side of the hog's head and you're gonna find another flying page beautiful and now the time has come for our final picture page. You, you know what I'm on about, don't you? And this can be found in the garden area. It's literally right up from the Og's Edge. You, you can't miss it. There's things growing in it. And to finish up this section before we have to, you know, start using our brains a little bit more, there's another flappy boy right in the arse end of nowhere. I've marked it there on map. Now make sure you get it and don't bloody forget about it. We've reached a point where we're going to have to start putting a little bit more effort into it to get these last few pages. I'm not sure what to call these particular things, so I'm just going to say the Lumos paintings. I, I don't know, you'll see what I mean in a minute with any what. Anyhow, the first one is here, behind the Og's head, and what you're looking for is one of these buggers. With these, all you've got to do is cast Lumos on them, and lo and behold, you'll see a nice pretty picture appearing on it. Isn't that lovely? That isn't the end of it though, guys. You've got to find a moth for some strange reason to insert into it. Not, not sure how that works. The easiest way to find them is to cast Revelio. They'll show up as a little blue well, moth. And when you do find them, just walk over to them with Lumos activated, guide them back to your picture thing, extinguish your wand and it should fly into it. This in turn will make the picture disappear and you should get yourself a nice page. Absolutely fantastic. Now, as well as this one located at the Og's Edge, you've got one here near Bingo and Batch. Never heard of that shop before. It's a new one. And of course, I forgot one of our flappy boy friends, so make sure you get that one. The picture slash mirror thing itself is leaning on the back wall of the Bingo 
going back shop. Again, it's the same moth process. You can find the one for this just a little ways down the road and then just do what you did with the hog's head one. Nice and simple. Now there is three more of these. One of them is located up at the water mill, which I've got marked on the map here. And of course, yet another flying page that I forgot. So yeah, grab that on your way to it. The mirror thing at the water mill is inside the water mill itself. And the moth that you're going to need is on a little lamp post outside of a cottage just down the hill from the mill. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Our third picture slash mirror thing is up at Dogweed and I've, I've forgotten the other part of its name. And the moth to open up the picture is sitting on the chimney at the side of it. Just ignite that wand and bring her on home. Now our final page is again located in the old fool and it's another moth slash mirror picture trick. I, I don't know, how would you describe that? Let me know down in comments. The moth you're going to need is behind the old fool itself and yeah, just rinse and repeat. Do what you did on the last three of them. And with that guys, that should be all your pages. Now there should be 30 of the picture type ones that you can see in your collection and 25 of the flappy boys and whatever these buddy moth things are. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. That extra support is much appreciated. And guys, if you want to see more Hogwarts Legacy content, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button too. Anyhow, as we say it north, I'll love you and leave you. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you next one.